Hi, uh, this is lecture 16. We're going to learn how to read off text files. The reason why this is such an important topic is because file reading and writing are essential for storage reasons. Up till this point, you cannot save anything. Let's say you would like to save your current settings. You can't do that because once you shut down your program, everything will be erased. By writing a text file, you can use the text file as a memory location where you save it. And next time you come up, you can retrieve the text file and use the information on it to restore exactly everything the way you want. Well, it's always kind of hard to explain these things, so why don't we just do it? Let's say I have a new Blink Python file on the desktop. Our goal with this program is to create a text file. It's actually very simple. First, I start with the forever user bin python command. Next, I create a text file called hello.txt. The file here is a command that creates a text file. hello.txt over here is the name of the file and w over here means that it's for writing purpose that when I create this I'm going to write to it I will refer to this file as output so this entire thing will equal to output so for now uh, normally I will write something into the file but we'll keep it empty for now and I'll just close it if I run the program now we'll see the text file popping out on the desktop meaning we just created. See? Notice how we just create a text file. If we open it, nothing is written in it. This is because we haven't done anything. Okay, let's go back to the code and let's try to write something in there. Mm, something like, you're a, a big apple. Oh, something like that. The way you write into a, the file is actually pretty simple first write the name of the file which is output the name is act the name of the file is hello.txt but this object inside the program we call it output and we want to use output first so you first write output and then you write dot write meaning you want to write into it inside the parentheses you you will write your sentence so right here I will write you are a big apple. So now if I run the program, the text file will add the sentence into it. Let me run it. Okay. Let's see. Now, if we open up the file, we get you are a big apple. You can add tab as well. And and uh, next line. So if I go back to the code and add a backslash t before the sentence, it would add a tab before writing the sentence. And if I add a backslash n before apple, it will go to the next line, then write apple. So this is what it will look like. You have tab, you are a big, and the next line, apple. Let me run the program now so you can see how these two affected the program. Notice how there's a tab space before the sentence. That's the backslash T. And the word apple went to the next line. The reason why the apple went to the next line is because of the tab N. I mean backslash N. I want you to realize that every time you run this program, it will automatically replace the previous version with the current version. So if you run this again, the same thing will happen. It doesn't add to it. And this also means you will erase the original file. If you don't want to erase the original file, and instead you want to append, like add to the end, the new material at the end of the file, you want to make the file A for append instead of W for overwrite. That's the point of that. You can, you can have either A for append, W for writing, R for reading. But 
and there's other ones but these are the top three anyways if I run the program now the new stuff will be appended to the original file so let's check this out okay so let me open up the file and you notice that what we had before was not erased we simply like append more into it so if I keep running this program you just keep adding more and more and more into it that's the point of this A um, now that you know how to write files you